there, this is Carla. Welcome to yet another tutorial. So today I am going to be showing you how to set up a proxy workflow um, in Premiere Pro. Um, it's a handy um, workflow if you're running a low spec computer or your computer's you know super powerful but you just need that little bit of extra speed while uh, editing your videos. Um, without any lag or any um, sort of problems really so I'm just going to be showing you how to use this proxy workflow it's a new addition to uh, Premiere Pro 2015.3 uh, so um, if you have upgraded to uh, the latest version of Premiere Pro or the latest CC Creative Cloud um, as of day before yesterday or a couple of days ago 2015.3 uh, then yeah stick around and follow along so I'm going to start at the beginning by creating a new project okay and this is what I do all the time. So I'm just going to call this test uh, proxy uh, two, okay? And then I'm just going to go to browse, and then I'm click to my desktop and just choose uh, where I want my folder to go. Um, and then once you have this here, you have some scr uh, scratch kicks option and uh, ingest, and this is where you're going to set up your proxy, okay? So we're going to click on ingest settings. Uh, we're going to tick our box. We're going to change from proxy to copy and create proxies. This is the best one because it automatically copies and creates your proxies while you're working. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Now this is the bit where you can choose uh, what resolution you want your proxy to be in. So obviously if you're working in ProRes or you're working in 4K or 6K, um, what do you want to reduce the quality down to so the uh, editing workflow is quicker now what I normally use and you can use this you know, yourself as you want is 1280 by 720 H264 so I'm going to click on that I'm going to keep same as project and same as project in my proxy destination and my uh, primary destination so I'm just going to click OK with that <laughs> OK so I'm going to import a file that I have on my desktop which is here it's a file that I use in most of my um, tutorials. And here I have a ProRes clip, 24 frames per second. Um, yeah, so I'm just basically um, going to right click on that. I'm going to come down to proxy and I'm going to click on create proxies. Now um, it will ask you what sort of presets you want. I'm going to change that to H264. 1280 by 720 um, as a preset click OK and then the magic will start beginning in the background now <clears throat> what do I mean by that well, if you look down here on my dock uh, a media encoder has started to open um, so I'm just going to leave that to open um, and our proxy has started to render uh, in the background so what this is going to do guys is going to allow you to render on the fly um, and you can still sort of work in Premiere Pro. So um, once that's done obviously um, I've got another ProRes film that I was uh, rendering from before so it's obviously continued the project that I was working on or test I was working on. I'm going to jump back in and I want to grab uh, this proxy now and drop it into my workflow. Now in order to activate your proxy uh, this is your proxy switch here. So I'm going to switch that off at the moment. Now to get this switch, you're going to click on this plus icon and then you're going to get this and then you're literally going to drag it to your um, bar down here and then click OK. Now I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. So I'm just going to click OK. Now if you want to open your view here, I'm going to double click on that so my view is here. You can also add your proxy to your viewer as well. So this is set to half res, so I can set this to full. Um, and now I can have this viewer work as a proxy as well. So now if I play back, um, obviously it's going to play back smooth. Um, it's quite a uh, hefty clip this. It's uh, full 4K, so it plays pretty smooth. But say you're having um, a problem with lag, um, you're going to hit that proxy button and this is what it's going to do. So I'm just going to click it. It's going to downscale it, um, the quality. Um, so it's going to run a lot quicker on your system. Now, the a lot of people work while the proxies are rendering in uh, Media Encoder. 
I've just said I've just literally done one one's complete and the way you know it's complete is by this yellow line here so it's if I was to try and find I don't know if I've got another clip here for you guys to show you an example um, let's go back to Premiere Pro let's go to uh, import I'm going to try and find another clip uh, for you guys uh, I don't know what I'm going to find because I don't think I've got anything. Let's go back. Um, Mac Video Library. Okay, so we might have something here. Um, let's get this uh, Project Luga um, thing here. Now, as soon as I open the video up, okay, and add it to my uh, project uh, files, um, it's going to start process automatically, as you can see here, and it's going to run it in the background. As you can see, it's running it and encoding it to the settings I set in my proxy. Okay, but this is a full 4K um, image. It's a full 4K video. So once that's done, um, I can then drag this onto my timeline. But normally, it would normally be um, a different color um, if your proxies weren't set. So I can just drag this um, and just drop it in here after it's done. Let's wait for it to and so put it here and as you can see this proxy is not finished yet because it's still red so if I open this up as you can see the proxy is still rendering but it's going to give you the option to change that to a proxy um, so you can basically work um, in it now this may lag because um, it literally is um, two different images but obviously it's running fine on my system there's a bit of lag there even with proxy on and the reason why is because it's still rendering in the background if we click it back and then play there you go should play absolutely fine with a tiny bit of lag now obviously i've got two clips here which are totally different formats and um, which doesn't help so if i go here i want to turn off my proxy turn it on again and then push play and that's a little bit of lag there turn it off and it's going to lag even worse as you can see there but we'll wait for the proxy to complete so as you can see there the proxy is still uh, rendering uh, this scene quite a heavy scene this actually it's full 4k um, this scene so once that's done this timeline will turn to uh, yellow now they say you can sort of work um, a lot smoother um, in this now normally even if I'm working say for instance in 1080p I'll go to half res um, no matter what um, it just helps you know it just helps but you can see there if I change that to a proxy um, it's going to run a little bit better but where it's rendering in the background it doesn't really help a lot anyway so they say it's a lot better proxy um, while you're working because it allows you to work on the fly but technically it's not better it's the same but what you do is you wait for the renders. So what I'll do is, say if I'm working on a film project, okay, um, I'll set up my proxy at the beginning of the project, all right, and then what I'll do is add all my files and folders here and just leave the computer alone. I will leave it to add all the proxies and all the, and, and, and basically create the proxies in the background. Now, once they're complete, then, as you can see the bar here, um, then I will jump back into my workflow and basically start working and it will be lovely and smooth uh, to work with. Very ha uh, handy if you're, um, uh, what's the word, using uh, a lot of colour grading, you know, a lot of, you can even drop this to quarter res actually. Um, if you want to help your workflow while that's transcoding, you can see that plays absolutely fine. Um, it's a bit pixelated, but still, as long as you can see the video and you can scrub through, uh, no problem, and you can edit your footage, um, it doesn't really matter what frame rate you work in. As long as you click back to full when you render, you should be good to go. Um, but once the proxy is actually complete, um, completed, um, yeah, um, as you can see, it's still rendering. But I've said it's a really heavy, um, it's a really heavy uh, scene so yeah that's why let's take a bit of time but i think you sort of get the general ideas of how this works um don't be scared to use it it does help but i'll say you know 
it helps when um, the actual render is complete. So when Media Encoder has completed the proxy uh, renderers, renders, shall I say, um, it will help and it will speed up your workflow. But I say I normally work on a Canon 70D, so this is normally my uh, quality that I work in, uh, which is fine by me. Um, and even when I sort of play it um, on my Mac um, at full res, it works absolutely fine. Uh, so technically, I don't really need to work within a proxy. Um, but it does help when I'm working with um, raw 4K footage, it helps a lot, um, especially um, after I've added uh, lots of layers, lots of colour correction, uh, so on and so on. But even when I sort of click that, um, it works even better, even when um, I add loads of uh, filters to my uh, scene. So i always got a solid green um, light. Uh, when I'm working, this is going to help the guys that are working on, say, laptops, working on computers that are pretty low spec um, with low end graphics cards. Um, this is going to help you guys out a lot. So, uh, yeah, I hope this video has helped um, you in some way or, or another. Um, as always, thanks for listening, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, a like rate would be appreciated. And I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.